Uh -huh. And his wife is making him chili. Where? In the living room! <laughs> okay, Doug, listen to me, sweetie. You're, you're a good fella. I love being married to you. I do. Now, that being said, R, V, and O. Okay, okay, I see. I see. You see what? You obviously like being a slave to the clock. You feel compelled to follow a certain schedule, whereas I am independent-minded. Don't quote from the video. I'm not. I just thought of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving in on this one, Carrie, okay? I'm not. You got your way on all our other vacations. When? When did I get my way? Well, two years ago when we went down to Florida? Yeah, and we spent the entire time at the Met Spring training camp. Excuse me. That was research for my gambling. Oh, please. Okay, fine, fine. Well, what about when we went to uh, Apple Country, huh? What? That was a weekend! Of pure Apple hell! <laughs> All right, Doug, please, let's not fight about this, okay? All right, you're, you're, you're right, you're okay. right. Okay. I mean, this, this is our vacation. We're supposed to be having fun. Have fun, yes. Let's just sleep on it. We'll figure something out. Figure something out? Yeah, I'm screwed, right? Doesn't look good. <laughs> I want to go to Paris. Can't I just run at her, tape her mouth shut, throw in the RV, and drive off? It's not against law, right, if you're married, is it? It might be, yeah. Hey, you can try the guilt thing. What do you mean? You know, you come in, you say, hey, let's go where you want to go. I want you to be happy. And she thinks you're being so sweet, she'll turn around and do what you want instead. I'll try it, man. I got nothing else. Paris. I'm from Paris. Look at me. <laughs> what accent was that? I don't know. Hey. Hey. Uh, look, about the vacation, I uh, thought about it, and I realized you work hard, and I know this time is important to you, so if... You want to go to Paris. Oh, my God, this is going to be so No, great. no, no, Paris, no. <laughs> Why did you just say we can go? That's nothing you need to know about. Look, the important thing is we, we need to make a decision here. How do you want to decide? I don't know, but we have to decide sooner or we'll never be able to get plane reservations. Or? Or get bug spray or whatever. <laughs> it's obvious neither of us is going to budge on this thing, so... How about this? How about, how about we flip a coin? Flip a coin? You want to decide our vacation by flipping a coin? Yeah. If it's good enough for the Super Bowl, it's good enough for the Heffernans. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Flip a coin. There you go. You want to flip a penny. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what? It has two sides. You, you are such a girl. <laughs> We're going to flip a quarter, okay? And for future reference, this is your smallest flippable coin. Okay, flip it. Okay, here we go. So, uh, let's say heads, uh... Paris, Tails, RV? Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Tails never fails. Oh, all right, well, the important thing is we'll have a great vacation together. Speaking English. <laughs> but I will gladly make you French toast every morning because I won. Touche, no pari, caddy. <laughs> Oh, God. Climb aboard! What is this doing here now? The guy let me take her home overnight for a test drive. Okay. Has a lot of horn sounds. We get it. Yep. She's got 28 of them. She? That's right. She. Okay. Unless she has boobies and a uterus, that has to stop. <laughs> Come on, let me give you the tour. All right, then. You got your driver's cockpit right here. That's right. I said cockpit. With a powerful Triton V10 engine humming underneath. Over here, you got your galley slide out with genuine leather seating surfaces. Oh, and this is great. Built-in, 25-inch television. Think of the beauty of it, Carrie. If we're not getting great reception, we just drive to wherever it's better. Oh, and look here. See this table? Folds into an extra bed. See how that works? Bed, table. Bed table. Yeah, it's two things. I get it. Okay, can I ask you a question? Breaker 1-9, the lady's got a question. Ken Bull. Where do you go to the bathroom? I'm glad you asked, little missy. You got your private restroom quarters right over here, conveniently located right over the master bedroom. See, you got all your privacy. Nobody knows your business. Hey, I can actually hear you better now. All right, what happens if we use the bathroom and we're out on the road? Where does everything go? Well, you 
you ride around with it for a few days till you find a place to drain it. Oh, my God. You, you know what would be nice? If you were remotely on board with this. How can I be on board with this, Doug? It's, it's horrible. Hey, I won the flip, all right? I, I didn't force you to flip a coin. You agreed. Yeah, but you forced me to flip a quarter, okay? I had a good feeling about that penny. Well, all I know is if you would have won the flip, I'd be going to Paris with a banana smile. Uh, yeah, right. I could just imagine what a joy you would have been when we were standing in the Louvre looking at, at 19th century Impressionist art. <laughs> Well, well, we'll never know that now, will we? Now, this is gonna be fun. You know why? Because that's a table bed, and that's pretty neat. Yeah. An RV? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Maybe I could drop something on Doug's foot so he can't drive for two weeks. And yeah, well, don't hurt him too bad. He drives for a living. Oh, they'll find him something. Where do you even go to the bathroom in one of these things? Into a pail, which is behind a piece of cardboard. You've got to keep this from happening. I